I spent my career reporting medical news, a topic important to me because I live with my own health challenge, a rare genetic condition called Wilson disease that allows copper to accumulate in the liver and brain, causing fatal copper poisoning. I've been living with a diagnosis for 35 years and trying to understand it better. I found out that Dr. John Walsh discovered the first treatment for Wilson disease. He's 98 years old and lives here in Cambridge. So when was the first time you heard about Wilson disease? I had a, a Fulbright Fellowship to the States, 54, 55. I was working with Charlie Davidson, who was a liver doctor, and we were asked to see a Wilson disease patient who'd gone into liver failure. I said, you know, what this chap really wants is penicillamine. Dr. Walsh had previously discovered penicillamine in London during the early 1950s while studying lab samples from people who were given the antibiotic penicillin. And then it was just put in the memory bank as an interesting observation of no particular importance. To prove his theory, a chemist from MIT then provided Dr. Walsh with some penicillamine, and then he did what would be unheard of today. He tried it on himself first. But it didn't do me any harm, and the next day I was alive and well, so I decided it was safe for me, it was safe for the patient. Soon after, Dr. Walsh's Boston Fellowship was over, so he returned to London with a small supply of penicillamine and tried it on some patients. A year later, Dr. Walsh reported in the American Journal of Medicine that his drug discovery worked. The results were dramatic, as can be seen in this film made in New York's Albert Einstein Medical Center in the 1980s. But Dr. Walsh found that penicillin caused severe side effects in some patients, so he looked for a second option. One morning, I ran into a biochemist called Hal Dixon. I explained my problem to him, and he took a bottle off the shelf. I said, try us the intetramine try it. And that's how we got that's try and tea. So it was Hal Dixon's idea and my work proving that it worked and was safe. Triantine and penicillamine had turned Wilson disease from an always fatal disease to one that's manageable. Today, the challenge is not treatment, but its cost. The price of a valiant drug that is used to treat Wilson's disease increased from $652 per month to more than $21,000 per month. For several years, all the triantine used on patients was prepared in my laboratory and sent out free on my basic laboratory expense allowance without upsetting it. It was cheap. The cost of Dr. Walsh's first drug discovery, penicillamine, is similar. The way they're charging for it now is absolutely immoral. There's no other word for it. It is totally immoral. Dr. John Walsh's idea saved my life. Now, with the prices Big Pharma is charging for his discovery, will others be so lucky?